Sudan is preparing a mass vaccination campaign against polio after an outbreak, days after the declaration of the eradication of wild polio virus in Africa. On Tuesday, the World Health Organization, WHO, celebrated the announcement that Africa was free of cases of the wild virus that causes the crippling disease. Health experts say the 13 cases in Sudan are derived from a vaccine which can take place in rare cases when the weakened virus in the vaccine mutates, a problem in countries with low immunization rates and poor sanitation. The first case was recorded in August 9, and areas affected include the war-ravaged western region of Darfur, it said. Joining us live is Dr. Nima Saeed Abid, WHO representative for Sudan. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Nima. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, we were barely settled from the uh, celebration of the fact uh, that uh, Africa was certified polio-free, and now this. So what's happening? Have, have we now lost that certification for Africa with this development? Yeah, because uh, this is completely different violence. Africa was, as you have mentioned in the introductory remark, have been certified as polio-free for wild polio virus. But what we are dealing with in, in Sudan is vaccine-derived poliovirus. And as it was mentioned correctly, that this is the type of mutated vaccine virus which happened when you give the uh, oral polio vaccine, which is a live weakened virus to a population with low immunity. And normally, actually, when you give the vaccine with good immunity, population with good immunity, it will take four to six, uh, to six weeks to disappear. While if, if, if it is given in, in, in people with, with population with low immunity, it may circulate longer. And in this process, it might mutate and later on behave similar to the wild poliovirus by causing paralysis and even transmitted from person to person. So this has nothing to do with the wild poliovirus. It is different strain of poliovirus. So what do you know about the 13 cases? There are comments of it being derived from a vaccine mutation. Can you explain how this mutation happens? Yeah, uh, these are now, by the way, uh, three cases were reported just yesterday. So now we have 16 cases and a wide geographical area from, uh, from uh, Darfur, West Darfur, up to the Gedarif and the... And the, and the in the east of the country. Uh, so now we have 16 cases from uh, nine states. And in addition to the cases the, uh, with the circulating vaccine derived poliovirus type 2 was also isolated from the sewage uh, sample in the capital, Khartoum, which means that we already have uh, widespread circulation. And actually the genetic analysis of these viruses linked it to the ongoing circulation in child. So it's a start as importation, but then due to a low immunity level, uh, the virus spread within, within Sudan. So this is importation associated to start with, but now it is spreading within, inside, inside, in wide geographical area inside Sudan. Hmm. Now, how can vaccine-derived uh, outbreaks be stopped? Yeah, it's, it can be stopped by having, by rapidly building immunity. In this, because you know that poliovirus is a three type, one type, one type, two type, three, by rapidly building the immunity against uh, type two. So uh, yes, it, we call it vaccine derived, but again, the response is with the vaccine virus. So we need at least two uh, nationwide campaign, uh, one month apart and two, two, and maybe we need more, but, but at least two uh, good quality campaign and, and, and then the uh, circulation of the virus can be stopped. Now, what is the WHO doing to assist Sudan more closely with this new campaign? Yeah, yeah, we, we are working very closely with the, with, the, with the Ministry of Health and with other partners, UNICEF and other partners. And for WHO, we are actually working on, on technical advice, uh, micro planning, uh, surveillance, uh, supporting the uh, polio lab in Sudan, uh, and, and for UNICEF, mostly with vaccine management, with, with 
with social mobilization, with risk communication, and we are working very, I mean, very closely jointly with the with the Ministry of Health and planning what kind of vaccine, what the extent, the scope of the of the of the campaign, and again, we are also doing the monitoring of the of the quality of the campaign. So we are working very closely with with, with, with the government as well as with the partner UNICEF and other partners, by the way, NGO and, and international NGOs working in Sudan as well. Mm. And uh, what's the likelihood that this mutation can spread? And what would you advise other African countries to do to keep a watchful eye? I mean, the initial assessment of this uh, outbreak that there is uh, there is risk of, of further spread within within Sudan, and uh, because uh, as I mentioned, this is type two, and there is uh, uh, I mean type two specific community gap. Uh, and, and, and because of, and in 2016, it was decided globally that the oral polio vaccine, the trivalent, which is type 1, 2, and 3, are replaced by bivalent, which is 1 and 3. So type 2 component removed from the, from the vaccine for one reason, because the last case in the world of type of wild type 2 was in 1999. And the globally wild type two certified as, as eradicated in, in September 2015. So all the cases that due type two polio since 1999 was due to vaccine uh, derived polio virus. That's why the decision was taken to replace the trivalent, which is one, two, three, with the bivalent with one and the three. And uh, another kind of, 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 of polio vaccine, which is given by injection, which we call it killed polio vaccine or in polio vaccine. Unfortunately, the immunity developed for type two is less than that required to build high immunity to prevent outbreak of circulating vaccine drug polio virus. A bit it is technical, but this is what is happening. There is type two specific immunity gap. So what we are doing now is to rapidly build that immunity to the threshold that A, stop the current circulation, and B, prevent future importation mm. and emergence. Thank you very much, uh, Doctor, uh, for speaking to us on this issue. Thank you very much for having me.